Hi guys, so today's look is inspired by the upcoming holiday that's the Christmas and my eye makeup is inspired by the Christmas tree itself. So if you are interested, please stay tuned and let's begin with the tutorial. For this look, I'll be starting off with priming my eyes and you can use any concealer or foundation for this and I will be blending it with a brush and over that I'm taking this eyeshadow right there and this is known as Sandbar Beige and it's a matte shade from the Estee Lauder color portfolio you can use anything and I'm taking um, the Morphe Brushes 35C palette this is the all matte palette and I'm taking the red one and taking an angled brush for this look because I wanted everything to be precise and I'm not going overboard with it but as this is a pigmented color I took some amount and I'll be using that color uh, that pigment itself because I'm not taking any extra product and I wanted a specified crease so that's why I took an angled brush and not a normal blending brush and I'm only going in the outer and inner corners as you can see outer V and inner V and I'm putting that only in the outer area of my eyes and blending it out I'm not putting any extra product I just took one swipe for each eye look uh, for each eye and I will be just packing that on the outer V's and then I'll be blending it little by little and I'm leaving the lid completely bare after that I'll be taking the 35C palette and taking this green one right there and I took an oriflame shader brush for this and I'm packing this in the lid the lid space which we uh, left open and just as the red one I'm not taking any extra product I'm just taking whatever I have on the brush and swiping it across then I'll be going back to the color portfolio but before that I will be taking a shader flat brush and I will be drenching it in the makeup setting spray because we just need something so that it's wet enough so that the shimmer color which we are going to take later uh, gets ample uh, shimmerness to the eyes so I'm taking this one this is called enchanted forest it's a shimmery shade from the color portfolio and I'm taking the wet brush and taking that product and I'm going over the green one because I wanted something shimmery on my lids but I didn't want gold or um, silver but as it's a Christmas tree inspired look I wanted a green shimmer to it so it's just subtle nothing much and this is not very pigmented that's why I wanted to wet the brush but you can totally skip it if you desire to do so I'm taking this blending brush and I'm going with this uh, really plum color purplish plummy shade it's a satin one it's called garnet desire from the color portfolio and I'm actually going to use this in the crease because as you can see the one I'm blending is totally looking a uh, very put together and blended and all the colors are uh, caught together in comparison to the other one which is left bare so that's why I needed some color in the transition you can actually use a lighter shade but then I wanted some color because I'm going for a festive look. And I'm taking an olive shade that was diagonal to the enchanted forest one because I want one color to bind the red and the green together. So I wanted one olive shade so that the red transforms into olive and then it transforms into the medium uh, shimmery red color if shimmery green sorry so all of them are in the same transitioning uh, gradient effect and for my lower lashes lash line I'm taking the same bright red color from the Morphe palette and over that I took any grayish uh, greenish turquoise color you can take anything and I took a pencil brush to blend it out and for my inner corners I took this uh, satin color it's called ivory slipper the first one from the color portfolio and it's not very um, visible but then I just needed something 
and I also used it to actually highlight my brow bone and also I used a Lacme brown shimmer uh, liquid liner which is very brown and shimmery uh, which got lost in the clip I'm so sorry I apologize uh, but I did use it for my, for my uh, outline I just used it to line my eyes then I curl my lashes and put on some mascara so the eye makeup is over and after my foundation which I skipped because obviously it will take a lot of time I am going to contour my cheeks a little bit and also my forehead using the Bahama Mama bronzer and I am just using the Real Techniques Expert face brush for that For my blush, I'll be using the City Color blush which I received in my fab bag. I will link all the products in the description box. I took an angled brush, it's from Basic Care which I got from Nykaa. And for my highlight, I'm using this fan brush from Vega and I'm using the one, it's a bronzer from Makeup Revolution London. I'll be linking the exact name below which I, which I don't have right now. And also I'm just using the leftover on my nose and my forehead and for the lips I took very uh, subtle color it's the Estee Lauder Est <laughs> what am I saying it's the Estee Lauder's brazen berry shine which I received in the color portfolio itself so this is the final look guys um, I'm not going a lot of uh, overboard with the makeup because I wanted the festivity only on the eyes and also I uh, tight line my inner uh, waterline with the brown lip uh, brown eyes brown eyeliner so that's it if you like it please thumbs up and please let me know how you found this please subscribe bye